Hello, this is such as Boy 99, Nikki. <clears throat> I am going to show you how to download a emulator, emulator, the Project 64 emulator. Okay, that which is a Nintendo 64 emulator. So first, what I do, or what I like, tell you to do, is go to CoolRom.com. It's a emulator and ROM website and other stuff. Okay, you go to em emulator, emulator, I should say emulator, whatever. Go to Nintendo 64. Now you can pick whatever one you want, but I highly recommend for everybody to go the pro with the Project 64, because that's the simplest one, and everybody, almost everybody has that. So you download it here. Well, I already have it downloaded, but as soon as you download it, you gotta go, you download it to, um, to your desktop or somewhere you know where it is, and you go there. And do not get lost. Once you have it as a setup, you gotta go through a couple of stuff. It's really simple. Just press next, 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 next. Alright, so just do that. I know this is like not really a good tutorial, but hey man. Okay. For what I do is I saved it in my documents. Here it is. Project 64. Oh, I, it should look like this. Look. Download it. Well, I have Windows Vista, so yeah, I have to do that aloud. Sorry for the other people who don't um know don't have Windows Vista and does not pop up the same the stuff as I it does at mine. So um, just tell me your tell me something or to or message me. Okay. Yeah, put modify for that. Go to next. Now install. I already have it installed. Now finish. I already have it installed. Now I uh, he, right here. Project 64 is a file. I open it. I have I have an install Project 64 and two games that I shouldn't have put in this um, um, folder. I open Project 64 and voila, I got it. Now you have file options and help here. Good name, status, notes, and notes. Default plugins and core. Okay, now go back to the website. You go to ROM files. Make sure you get your uh, um, emulator name, which is Project 64, so Nintendo 64, so go to ROM files, and go to Nintendo 64. I'm just going to pick a random game out of nowhere. Alright, um, <clears throat> let's pick one. Uh, Army, Army Men, Sarge's Heroes 2. Hmm, looks good. Okay, now you can download it here. Please wait, your download will appear in 8 seconds. Now, there's not the only ROM website or emulator website you can have. You could go to doughgames.com, D-O-H games.com, cool ROM, dope ROMs, um, and ROM nation, rom-nation.com. Alright, download your file. Now, you gotta save it. Now, go to my computer, compact, and I'll create a new fo created a new folder with games in it. So that's all my Nintendo 64 games. Most of them. Just not with Mugen, it's not it. And so many Project 64 games. So I have more Mario Party, Mortal Kombat, Power Rangers, Mortal Kombat 3, Torok, Pokemon, and a whole bunch of crap. So I am now downloading or saving the file name Army Man Sarge's Heroes 2 in the games file. Okay, save. Now, I, I save it and I download it at the same time, or yeah, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not really putting real <laughs> words. Words, yeah. As soon as you download it, yeah. You go to Project 64, go to File, Open ROM, and now if your file, if you're, if you're not in the correct place, you should go to Computer or the place where you, your, um, file of games are of the Project 64 or Nintendo 64. Same thing. Don't try to get me conf No, I'm not trying to get you confused. Alright, now you go to games and choose whichever game you want here. Now, this is the game I just uh, recently uh, downloaded right now. So I click on that. 
things. Not all of them work, but most of them do. Now, as you can see, the game is starting up here. Yep. Now, if you want to do cheats, you can just go to System and go to Cheats. CTRLC. You open. Oh man. You open. And you click whichever cheats you want. In this case, I want to choose all of them because I'm a cheater. Cheater Peter. Now, let's start to play. Now, you could change whichever controls you want. You go to Options and then Control Option. Controller Plugins or yeah. Left, right, up, and down. A button, B button. The start button, I, rec I highly recommend you put the enter for that. The L is the top top left button of the remote controller of the Nintendo 64, and the right is the top right um, uh, part of the, your Nintendo 64 controller. Z is the bottom button, and don't worry about those. Click OK, and you're well on your way to playing. Thank you for seeing my video, and please subscribe. Thank you.